Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the dependence of entropy on temperature and pressure. That is, we are going to derive this formula. ds is equal to Cp by T into dt minus del V by del T P into dp. In my previous video, we have already seen the dependence of entropy on temperature and volume. So today's derivation is going to be very important because this is frequently asked in examination as well. So let's start. We know that entropy is a state function. That means it only depends on the initial and final state. Also, entropy depends on temperature and pressure. So, we can express entropy in terms of the function of temperature and pressure, right? So, let, let entropy is a function of temperature and pressure we don't actually know the formula so we are considering temperature to be the function of sorry entropy to be the function of temperature and pressure this can be expressed as s is equal to function of t and p right as there is a function so obviously we can apply euler's theorem of exactness over here so applying applying euler's theorem of exactness if we apply Euler's theorem of exactness over here so obviously in left side we have to put a complete derivative that is ds is equal to the partial derivative of s with respect to t at constant p into full derivative of t similarly we'll do this same for p this will be del s by del p t into dp let us consider this to be equation number one now there is a formula of enthalpy right enthalpy uh, again enthalpy is given by the formula e plus pv where this h is the enthalpy e is the internal energy p pressure v volume so this is a formula this is a known formula right this is the formula of enthalpy and this is a known formula okay now let's put derivative on both of the sides that is let's differentiate it so it will be dh is equal to de plus pdv plus vdp as there is the product so obviously we have to apply the product law over here we need to consider p to be constant and derivative of b that is dv plus uh, b to be constant and derivative of p that is dp let us consider this to be equation number two now according to first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics is that first law of thermodynamics what is the formula of first law of thermodynamics dq is equal to de plus pdv and dq simply means what T D S is equal to D E plus P D V. D Q is equal to T D S. This is a formula from second law of thermodynamics. Okay. Second law of thermodynamics tells us that D Q is equal to T D S. Now look at here. In equation number 2 and equation number 3, do we find anything common? There is D E plus P D V. There is D E plus P D V. So obviously, in this place, DE plus PDV, we can write TDS, right? So from, from equations uh, 2 and 3, from equations 2 and 3, we can write uh, DH is equal to, in this place, we can write TDS, TDS plus PDV, right? DQS plus, sorry, BDP. B D P. Now let's find the value of D S from here. Okay. So if we find the value of D S, we need to take this value to this side and divide both of them by T. So D S will directly be D S by T minus B by T D P. This is equation number four. Right. Let us consider this to be equation number four. Now look at here. There is 
this dh and it's now time to consider enthalpy to be the function of temperature and pressure as well so let let h is the function function of t and p so it can be written as h is equal to function of temperature and pressure right as this is the function we can apply the euler's theorem of exactness over here as well just like this so it will be dh is equal to how much del h by del t p dt plus del h by del p t dt sorry t dp this is equation number 5 now we can apply the value of ds from equation 5 to equation number 4 so from so from equation number 4 and 5 let's replace this ds by this value so it will be ds is equal to ds is being divided by t so all the values will be divided by t so it will be 1 by t del s by del t p dt plus 1 by t del s by del p t dp plus there is sorry minus b by t dp now see these second and third terms 1 by t 1 by t dp dp are common so we need to take them common so let's take them as common so it will be 1 by t del s by del t p dt plus 1 by t is common so it will be del s by del p t minus v dp so we get this much we need to consider it to be equation number six now it's time to compare equation number one and six here equation number one are uh, over here and six have same values in the left hand side that is ds and ds so look at here dt dt they are same dp dp they are same so their coefficient must be same so we need to consider their coefficient to be same but before that let me erase this portion I have already raised the, all the unnecessary parts here. I have written equation number 1 and equation number 6 that we need to compare. So, comparing, comparing 1 and 6. Look at here. There is uh, del S by del T P as the coefficient of dt in equation number 1. And in equation number 6, the coefficient of dt is 1 by t uh, del S by del T P. So, obviously, these two coefficients must be equal. So, we need to write del S by del T P is equal to 1 by T del S by del T P. Now, if you remember one thing, del S by del T P is not an unknown thing. We know, we know what mathematical expression does it give. It is actually equal to the molar heat capacity at constant pressure this is the mathematical form of molar heat capacity at constant pressure that is cp so we can write it as 1 by t into cp right let us consider this to be equation number 7 because cp that is molar heat capacity at constant pressure has the mathematical form del s by del t is p that is change in enthalpy with change in temperature at constant pressure so this is the mathematical expression of molar heat capacity at constant pressure similarly the uh, coefficient of dp here is this much and here this much so obviously these two will be same as well so let's write them del s by del p t is equal to this much 1 by t into del s by del p t minus v let us consider this to be equation number 8. Now, we need to do one more thing. We need to rearrange equation number 7 and 8 and find different values. So, equation, equation 7 can be written as, equation 7 can be written as, we are uh, rearranging this equation number 7 between these two terms, okay. We are not taking this now. We are going to uh, do the work with these two. So let's find the value of this. Del H by del T P is equal to how much? T will go this side. So it will be T del S by del T P. Right? Now see, this H is being differentiated with respect to temperature over here. 
and to find the uh, double derivative or square of derivative obviously we need to differentiate it with respect to pressure now so let me write it over here differentiating differentiating with respect to pressure at constant at constant temperature then how much will it be del square h by del p del t i am directly writing it is equal to this t is constant over here so we won't have to uh, find the de uh, derivative of it and it will be del square s by del p del t this is equation number how much 9 right similarly equation 8 that is this equation can be can be written as this equation 8 can be written as we need to find the value of this del h by del p t is equal to this t will go this side sorry there should have been a bracket like this t will go this side so t del s by del p t plus v right we'll get this much now there is p in the denominator so we need to differentiate it with respect to t so differentiating differentiating with respect to t at constant at constant pressure p so it will be del square h by del p del t is equal to now there will be a product log applied over here so obviously we need to consider this t constant first of all and it will be del square s by del p del t plus del s by del p t into uh, the derivative of t that is del t by del t will be 1 so we are not writing anything over here and it will be del v by del t p right let us consider this to be equation number 10 now see equation number 9 and 10 left hand side left hand side are same first term first term are same then obviously the second term and second term should be same there is no second term that means the second term must be zero so the value of all these quantity must be zero so from from 9 and 10 we can write del s by del p t minus del v by del t p is equal to zero if we take it to other side there will be plus sorry if you take it to other side it will be del s by del p t is equal to del v by del t p and there will be a negative sign in front of it because we are taking a positive sign to other side and there will be a negative sign in front of it this is equation number 11 now if we see two equations one over here equation number 7 and another equation number 11 and if we put those values in equation number 1 then what will happen look at here then equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes now equation 1 is ds is equal to now see here del s by del tp where do we find it over here what is the value cp by t so we can write cp by t into dt now uh, del s by del pt where do we find it over here its value is minus del v by del v by del t p del t p into dp this is the required mathematical expression this is the mathematical expression we were trying to derive right this is the required equation so we have successfully derived the required relation this relation shows that the dependence of entropy on temperature and pressure has a mathematical form and that can be proved by this mathematical expression this derivation is frequently asked in examination as well now let's see how does this derivation or this formula changes for an ideal gas to see the dependence of entropy on temperature and pressure for ideal gas we need to write the mathematical expression of dependence of entropy on temperature and pressure first and that is ds is equal to cp by d t t plus del p by del t p d p 
that should be minus over here. So this is the mathematical expression of dependence of entropy on temperature and pressure. Now for ideal gas equation, for ideal gas, obviously ideal gas equation will be applied over here that is PV is equal to MRT. We need to find the value of V and RT by V. You might be wondering why am I finding the value of V? There is del V by del dV. We are trying to replace this quantity by some constant terms or some other terms. So for that we need to differentiate V with respect to temperature and constant pressure P. So differentiating differentiating equation number two with respect to temperature at constant at constant pressure P and obviously this will be how much del S by del T P dt sorry del S by del T P will be equal to if we uh, consider P as the constant then obviously this much quantity will be constant this will be n R by P and the derivative of T with respect to T will be 1 so we are not writing that this is equation number 3 then equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes we need to replace this value over there, right? So it will be ds is equal to Cp by T into dt minus n r by P into T. Now for n mole of an ideal gas, this is the expression for one mole. So for n mole, for n moles, uh, ds will be equal to there will be n over here as well, n Cp by T dt plus n r by P dt. Now we need to integrate it, integrating, integrating under respective limits. Let's integrate this equation under the respective limit that is from S1 to S2 ds is equal to ncp dt by t from t1 to t2. So, uh, there will be minus over here. I'm so sorry for that. Minus. Uh, from P1 to P2, this is dP by P, right? If we do it, it will be del S because S2 minus S1 will be del S. will be equal to NCP and this will be ln T2 minus ln T1 minus NR. NR ln T2 minus ln T1. So we get this much. And this will be del S is equal to N C P. Now, according to mathematics, this can be written as L N T two by T one minus N R L N P two by P one. And this can further be written as del S is equal to N C P L N T two by T one plus N R L N P one by P two. That is, if we do the reciprocal over here, then obviously the sign over here changes. This is the final mathematical expression for the dependence of entropy on temperature and pressure for an ideal gas. So this is the formula that we use to solve some numerical problems and talking about that let's see a numerical problem as well. I have already written the question of the numerical problem over here that is one mole of an ideal gas which CV is given to be this much is transformed from 298 Kelvin and 28 km pressure to 273 Kelvin and 0.4 atm pressure. Calculate the change in entropy. That is, we need to find the value of del S, where the value of capital R, that is uh, universal gas constant, is also provided. And I have already written the given data as one mole, that means n is equal to 1. Cv is given to be this much 12.55 joule per Kelvin per mole. T1 is given to be 298 Kelvin. P1 is given to be 2 atm. And T2, 273 Kelvin. Yeah and P2 is 0.4 atm and R is given as well. First of all, we need to find the value of molar heat capacity at constant pressure because we can't find the change in entropy without that. So Cp is uh, calculated by using the formula Cb plus R because we know that R is equal to Cp minus Cb, right? So let's put the values over here. R means 12.55 plus S. R, uh, Cb means this much R means 8.314 and if you put this on calculator then you, uh, you will directly get 20.864 joule 
per mole per Kelvin. Now we can apply the formula of del S over here. Del S is equal to NCP ln T2 by T1 minus, minus no plus NR ln P1 by P2. So this is the formula to calculate the value of change in entropy. So uh, let's put the values 1 into CP. CP means 20.86 ln T2. T2 is given to be 273 by 298 plus N means 1 into R means 8.314 ln P1. P1 is given to be 2. P2 is given to be 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Now if you put all these in the calculator then you will directly get minus 1.828. Plus, if you put these on calculator, then you will get 13.380. And if you put these on calculator, then you will directly get 11.552 joule per mole per Kelvin. So this is how we solve a numerical problem like this. So in this video, we derive the expression for the dependence of entropy and temperature and pressure. Similarly, we derive the expression for the dependence of entropy and temperature and pressure for ideal gas and we solve a numerical problem as well. That's all in this video. I hope you understood everything about this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.